So we started to talk about in the query, where's my query? Here it is. Um, so I cleaned this up and got it working. So if I preview this, so this is a query starting from people. I filtered this down just to Anna's record. And then I've created a subquery, which is an independent subquery uh, based on people. And then I've filtered down, I've joined from the assignment so that in the person that's from this independent subquery out to their assignments and from their assignments to their assigned person. And then from that filter, I say where the assigned person's ref ID is the same as the person. And this is the this is an important part. You This is not the independent query. So as you're doing this, um, I've got the person from the independent query, but I also then have this person here, which is the base query. And I <laughs> in my demo, Live code demo, I had picked the wrong one. So if you pick the ref ID from this person and have it match the assignments assigned person's ref ID, so we save all that and we'll preview these results. We see here that Anna is assigned to these folks. So that's exactly what I wanted to do. Um, I'm already eight minutes in, I'm gonna skip doing this live, maybe I'll do it real quick, and you, I'll tell you what minute you can fast forward to. Um, so this is called an independent subquery. This will be um, assigned people. Uh, yeah, so for records, we're, we're doing an independent subquery based on people. I'm gonna join out to the assignments from the assignments, I want to join that assignment. And I cleaned up my fields, and I'll show you real quick. So our field structure is that under assignment, we have an assigned person, start and end date. Um, this manager is not, this is, this was throwing me off. Um, the assignment type, start and stop date, uh, and the assigned person. So this is where the excitement happens, where we've got an assignment, assigned person is the name that you see. Uh, it is, you store the value of it, and then say that it's a related data set row. Now, we don't have the ability to choose person as the related data set, but that's just fine. So you just leave that blank. And then when that's all set up, in our join here, we've joined from the person to their assignments. And now when I do my join, I can go to assigned person here, and I've got that. So now I've joined, again, independent. So I'm starting like just an independent subquery to their assignment, assignment person. And now I wanna filter this, and I wanna say do a comparison, export, where the assigned person's ref ID and here I want to scroll down to the, not the independent subquery person, but the person that we're starting this query from, their ref ID. So I want to say my, so now my subquery is saying, okay, pull all the people, look at all the people's assignments, and only show me people, so is assigned, only show me people where their assignment is the ref ID of the person uh, that's coming out from the, the query. It's, you get it. I'm no need to over explain it. So these are the assigned people. We're gonna start, we're gonna make a new line here. Um, and then we'll export to show we've got our assignment. Now we don't wanna show the assignment's name. What we wanna show actually is the person's name made in class here and it looks a little better if we do something like this all right so we do class here to that save there all right so now here's this assigned person field that i just made if we preview these results should get the same thing 
Um, all right, so we've got, here is the assigned people query that I just built. And this is showing all of the people, anybody in the database who has an assignment where the assignments ref ID, uh, where they, they have, sorry, they have an assigned person where the assigned person's ref ID is equal to this record. So now I should be able to dump that into Anna's piece here. Now that I've, we've got that working, uh, I think that's it. 12 minutes. Maybe I can edit this down.